Yeah, I know this review is a little late and all, but listen, we're getting to the end of the year for my school year or whatever, and there's a bunch of exams coming up, and I had to do EOC or whatever, and it's just been really busy, and I was really busy on Sunday night and Monday, but I'm here to talk about one of the best sci-fi movies ever made. I'm pretty sure I said that in the last video, but that's okay, because this one's just as good. Aliens. This film is not directed by Ridley Scott, it's actually directed by James Cameron, who of course made Titanic, Terminator 2, Avatar, I mean he's one of the best directors ever, and of course this is one of his first movies actually, I'm pretty sure, and it came out in 1986, and this movie came out seven years after the original uh, Ridley Scott Alien, whatever, I reviewed that last week, I'm leading up to Alien Covenant, which comes out this Thursday, I'm so excited. So I decided to review Alien, Aliens, and then tomorrow I'll review Prometheus, and Thursday, of course, the big night. So let's get into this, guys. So I actually, a lot of people love this movie, and I agree. Aliens is awesome. It is, that is the key word in this movie. It's not amazing. Oh, okay, okay, it is amazing. But the best word for this movie is awesome. I mean, Aliens is literally, like, the coolest action movie ever made Hands down, I mean, James Cameron brought so much to this movie. So basically, this movie picks up after um, Ripley, who is Signore Weaver, of course. She wakes up from a, a Cyro sleep, whatever, and all these guys are telling her, Hey, aliens fake. You're lying. Shut up, Ripley. And she's like, No, no, they're dangerous. They are real. Do not go back to them. And then she takes this group of people, whatever, these group of Marines, whatever. Her and a group of Marines have to go down this planet, whatever, and pretty much they find aliens, they get like a contact thing, whatever, they gotta go down there and search it out, whatever, and of course, we don't get just one alien, we get aliens, of course, that's why the sequel is called Aliens with an S, see, that's smart. We don't get that good titles anymore, I mean, honestly, think about that, we do not get like this smart of a title anymore, like, where do you see those titles anymore? But either way, so Aliens is directed by James Cameron, and of course, if you've never seen Aliens, what are you doing? Um, Aliens is great. The action subject in this movie is awesome. The gun they use is one of the coolest action sci-fi guns ever. It's right next to the lightsaber, honestly. Like, it's that cool. Like, honestly, these Marines and Ripley going down here, and it's just a bunch of people stuck on this planet thing, whatever, and it's just aliens and mayhem and a little girl and Ripley being awesome. Like, this movie is just awesome. Like, this movie is not connected to, like, a huge franchise like movies are today. It's a one subject, people stuck on a planet thing and with aliens all around them and they gotta survive and get out of there. That is it. And that is why I love this movie so much. Of course, James Cameron is James Cameron. He's amazing. The directing is amazing the energy in this movie I, I watched it today whatever I totally forgot the energy in this movie it moves so fast and you are in it to win it and by the end of this movie you are literally like dang I feel bad for Ripley dang you went through so much and again I just love Signore Weaver as Ripley she is awesome and the first one she's on in the first movie she's kind of like a a bitch, kind of, and then she turns into a cool character at the very end. In this movie, from start to finish, she gets great character development, and she's a bad ace throughout the beginning to the end. There's no more her following the rules. She is, hey, do not go to this planet. Aliens are bad. They're dangerous. I dealt with one of them, and now we literally have hundreds of them, and a freaking queen alien. That's just... I love that scene. But either way, a Signore Weaver was actually nominated for Best Actress for this movie. That is incredible. You don't see that anymore. When is the last time someone for a big action movie got nominated for an Oscar? She didn't win, which kind of sucks. Honestly, I think she deserved it. But dang, we never see it. That is literally, like, amazing. I did not know she was nominated when I watched it. I literally, it's, I've been watching this movie for years and years. Never knew she was nominated for Best Actress. Today, I found out. When I was looking up info, whatever, and trivia, whatever, I was like... What? That is amazing in my opinion. Either way, Signore Weaver, Signore Weaver as Ripley is awesome. She's a great lead character, one of the best hero characters in an action movie ever, and she is just a bad A. And of course, when she fights the Queen at the very end, that her famous line, get away from her, you bitch! That is just a great line, and how she delivers it is just 
bad A right there. And I love all the Marines, whatever, of course, Rip, Bill Paxton. Game over, man. It's game over. That is just, it's perfect. I love the crew, whatever. I love the girl, whatever, who's like, are you a guy, whatever, and she's a, she's a cool bad. And then, of course, you have the guy from Terminator, uh, Kyle Reese, whatever. I forget the actor's name, whatever, but he's um, also another James Cameron movie, but he's in it. He's the main guy, whatever. What's his name? Hux. Yeah, Hux. And he is just an awesome character. He's, he leads this group. He feels like a leader, and I really like Hux and Ripley's uh, relationship between each other. And the little girl. I forget the little girl's name. What was the little girl's name? I know it. I just watched it. I, I'm sorry. I forgot the little girl's name. Either way, I love the little girl, whatever. It's like Ripley is like a mom to her. And actually, in the extended version, there also there is a director's cut in this movie, whatever, just like the first one. I prefer the original over the director's cut. I don't like her having a daughter. I do not like her having a daughter and her daughter getting old and dying. I feel like that's a total subplot you don't need in this movie. I don't think it adds anything to it. It's just like... Ripley and this little girl in this movie, it feels like mother and daughter relationship. We don't need to know that she was a mother and never got to see her die or whatever and Ripley's still alive while her daughter is dead. Overall though, the action and the intensity and of course the aliens themselves are great. There are some great suspenseful scenes in this movie. There are some great action shootouts. It's action packed and it's so entertaining to watch. And I love Aliens. It's so energy, too. When you watch it, you're like, wow, I want to watch it again. It's, like, so much fun to watch. James Cameron, you nailed this movie. And I do like the ending, whatever, how they go back to sleep, just like in the original. And that's it. If my only critique in this movie is really, it's honestly, it's the same thing like the first one. They wake up, they get a signal thing, they go down somewhere, they die, the 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 Aliens, ah! the tongues, blood, everything, shooting, whatever, and then they literally go back to sleep. It's like the first one, basically, but this one has a lot more to watch and do and energy. It's just a lot more fun to watch. But overall, Aliens is 100% going to get an A+. It's a great movie. There's no doubt about it. I love this movie. It's so much fun to watch. But now, the real question is, I said this last week, What? which one do I like more? You know, I really thought about this. I t it took me a good 10 minutes. I really thought about it. Honestly, I like Alien more. I like how the Alien is more scary and horrific in the original. I love the Alien as an action, shooting, everything. I love this. Of course, I just said this in a 9-minute video. But I do very much enjoy the scariness and the eeriness and the horrificness of the Alien. So I prefer... Alien over Aliens. I know that's very, like, a lot of people like Aliens more, but it's my opinion, I like Alien more. But yeah, tomorrow is Prometheus. That is going to be very interesting. I have a lot to say about this movie. Some people hate it, and some people love it. Ugh, we will see tomorrow. Either way, guys, hope you guys enjoy this review, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys.